Okay, I do have a recommendation. Um, if it's a nice weather, I would think that you would want to bring changing clothes just in case you want to get a dip off the water. Right now, we don't have any changing clothes. So we're a bit 50-50 if we're gonna get in. Are you gonna get in? <laughs> Oh my god. How long do you plan to stay there? <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I had changing clothes. Hello and welcome to the west of Scotland. Today we are so lucky once again because the sun is going to be shining for us on our adventure. What I love about this area is that I noticed there are so many beautiful cycle paths. If you love exploring on a bicycle or on your feet, there are so many scenic paths to take here. I also noticed so many sailboats around. With clear skies like this, who wouldn't want to be out enjoying nature and the fresh air? Spending a week here isn't enough. You can kayak, you can go camping, but where we're heading is called the Lost Valley over at Glencoe. You'll start to notice a change of scenery as we're heading into the highlands. There are lots of trails to explore, and if you love hiking, this is definitely your place. There's also a strong history about Glencoe, but today we are here to discover what's in the Lost Valley. Just seeing all the hills and mountains, I am at awe. This place is absolutely stunning. And I also noticed there are so many big bikes around. So if you love riding, then you would definitely love exploring the highlands. You'll notice on the right side, that's where we park the car. Now, if you want to start at an advanced point, you can head over to where the sign is pointing out. That is an extreme steep slope going uphill. Or if you want to do it at a more relaxed pace, just follow the path we took. All right, we have just arrived officially here at the Lost Valley. I have to correct myself. It's actually not the Secret Valley. It's called the Lost Valley. And yeah, you can see so many tall hills or mountains. Um, Eddie told me that if it's a mountain that's higher than 3,000 feet, they call it Ben. So let's say Ben Nevis or Ben... Roxy. <laughs> so let's keep walking. There's a nice path down here. And we're just going to be making a loop. I think it's going to be about two and a half to three hours. So after the loop, we should be right back where we parked the car. <laughs> And I am probably the only crazy person here bringing an umbrella. Yep. Because oh. it's such a beautiful place here, but I don't want to destroy my skin. But Eddie's lucky that his skin will just go back to its original color. Red to white. <laughs> However, mine, I'm already getting permanent freckles. And yeah, I just want to make sure I protect my skin. Let's go! pretty keen I guess you could also camp here as well it is quite a nice view if you wanted to stay the night but everywhere you look there are so many high mountains here and I can understand why this place could possibly get very very busy right now there's just only me and Eddie and a couple of other tourists or visitors walking here of course, we're very lucky again today as for the past few days, it's nice and sunny. Is that common in Scotland that it's always the sunny? No, not so. Yeah. Voila. So we're taking advantage of the sunny skies. Tara, let's go! Saan ang kasama mo? record. And over to my left, you can see a clear view of the valley. And I suppose I can understand why they would call it the Lost Valley. If, you, if there aren't any footpaths here, I, I guess you could get lost. But non-stop valley, such a beautiful place to be in. Come and explore this area. 
Yeah, so I'm imagining uh, that goes into the Hidden Valley, just there. And you're going round, round the back of this big, uh, this big stack or hill, whatever you, whatever you call it, and back to the gar. Uh, but it's only two miles long, uh, but it's very steep. So I think this place is uh, frequented a lot by visitors and they do have a footpath over here. It's gonna be quite a steep staircase going down. Let's go and I can hear the water streaming. Sounds lovely, can't wait. We were just talking that this area pretty much reminds us of Cebu. What do they call it when you jump off cliffs? Uh, canyoneering. Yeah exactly the same sound of the water but they have a bridge here and there it is I don't know if you can actually go swimming in it but the water is nice and clear and because it's such a sunny day you can feel the nice breeze coming from the water there's the look of the other side nice very very nice and this is the pathway going up I can see a guy as well trying to take a dip. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I think the water might be really cold as well. But if you're feeling really hot, now might be a good time. <laughs> so we actually have the option to go down there, but it seems a bit busy. So the plan is for Eddie and I to keep walking, not unless you want to go down for a quick splash in the face. Splash, we'll go down. Okay, let's go down then. she's not camera shy so it was a little bit crowded down there but if you walk up a little higher there's a nice pool over there so that's just another option just in case there's a lot of people down there so it's equally beautiful there it looks like a pool I 
actually if you also walk a little bit further there's so many of them over there so I was telling Eddie it would be so nice to have this on the last uh, strip of our walk because um, yeah it gets pretty warm and it's so nice to wash your face with cool water hopefully there's gonna be something like this at the end of our trip <laughs> A little bit out of breath but I just want to show you the flowers I've been seeing all throughout Scotland. These pretty ones over here are called foxgloves and they've got a nice texture under and of course the famous bluebells over there. I've got a candle that smells like well it's a uh, bluebell scented so they're very 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 lush and refreshing to smell. I don't know about the foxglove but the bluebells certainly give off a nice uh, scented candle smell but for now let's keep walking because we don't know how long this uh, path is going to take, but nevertheless, it's nice to take your time. Enjoy nature. I would say the trekking path relatively would be easy. Um, it's only because we don't really have a steep path going uphill. But of course, you want to watch over the rocks that you're stepping on, you don't slip because I guess it's easy to sprain an ankle touch wood. <laughs> that doesn't happen, but um, what, what's your level here of uh, difficulty? Do you think it's... 12, 12 by 10. 12? 12, it's very hard. No, you it's find this hard? Three, four, yeah. three. Yeah, so, and look, look what we have here. Wow. So you have a lot of nice uh, stops for refreshment. <laughs> Don't even know if you can drink the water. Maybe you can drink the water. Ah, ready to jump? <laughs> yeah. Thirsty. Hi there. Want water? Mm. Well, if we didn't have tap water, I would be doing the same. They just saw that really cute Alsatian. I would definitely recommend the Lost Valley for a nice easy uh, walk or hike. There's so many uh, water pools here and I wouldn't be surprised if you could actually drink off the water but right now we have our packed water so we're not doing that just yet. But nice place and here we go up again the rocks. Okay, I do have a recommendation. Um, if it's a nice weather, I would think that you would want to bring changing clothes just in case you want to get a dip off the water. Right now, we don't have any changing clothes. So we're a bit 50-50 if we're gonna get in. Are you gonna get in? <laughs> my, one of my shoes already got wet. So I'm still 50-50, but it's a good idea to have changing clothes. Cold. Oh my god. I think they say uh, shocking your body with cold water is actually healthy, but I don't know how long you can actually stay in the water. How long do you plan to stay there? Uh, 10 seconds. Oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I had changing clothes. Oh, I would love to get in. Look how clear the water is. It is so clear. I think the most I can get in there are my feet. Ooh, and it's definitely icy cold. I have to say, it looks very deceiving because it's sunny. You might think it's a nice time to get in the water, but I tell you, that water is freezing cold. It's so cold that Eddie said that when he got out of the water, it feels so much warmer outside. <laughs> How cold is it? Like ice. Like ice? Like what? Like ice. In Tagalog? Brangielo story of our lives. I like to hide from the sun here in the shade and Eddie is over there getting some nice sunlight. And I wanted to show you guys, I always see this flower. They're called buttercups. Yeah, they say if you put it under your chin and if your chin turns yellow, that means you like butter. So let's try. Is my chin turning yellow?
more adventurous uh, rock paths to head up to. Yes, it's a nice beach over there. If you brought your uh, beach mat and some sandwiches, you could lay over on the little rocky shore. <laughs> All right, that bit there is where we came from. There's obviously no walk path and we have to go up all of these rocks. So, Eddie doesn't have that much grip on his sneakers, but mine's got some nice grip, so you just wanna make sure you pick some nice footwear. Quite a steep path over there, but we're gonna have a quick Tagalog short break. Eddie is uh, interrupting me with some Tagalog. Oh, sige, walang problema. Kasi naglalakad tayo. Um, kasi uh, magagandang tanawin don. <laughs> and we are not practicing with any other Filipino here. Uh, Eddie has like random bits of Tagalog here and there, so. Buti para magpractice ng Tagalog. <laughs> I forget where I am. Am I really in Scotland or am I back in the Philippines? I think Eddie's uh, turning Filipino officially. Mahal ko, Filipino ka ba? Oo, oh, Filipino ako. Uh, kasi parang ikaw. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if you can see behind me, but look at all those hills. Wow, it is so beautiful here. Have a look over there. We have made it to Lost. Well, this entire place is called the Lost Valley, but wow, what a view. Oh my goodness. If you look closely up there, you can see some snow as well. I'll try to zoom that in with the camera. It must be very, very cold up there. Otherwise, yeah, it's beautiful. Nice place to explore and get some exercise and some fresh air. Definitely worth visiting. <laughs> We're gonna keep walking until the foot of that hill over there and we might call it quits from there. I don't think we have enough time to go up to see the snow or equipped. We didn't bring that much clothes. Okay, so I could be wrong again, but uh, I think this is called a cairn where all the valleys meet like this. Um, I did it in school in geography. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, the glaciers build up and yeah, form a big hole. Because I was asking Eddie, I wonder if water still passes here. It looks like this Definitely is where, does. until until now, we're yeah. just here in a dry season. Yeah, it could rain. It's, it's already passing, just a little bit. Yeah, so let's go walk there while there's no water yet. <laughs> but I was also saying that we're not equipped to go up the hill there where there's snow because we don't have uh, our snow gear. I'd say, I'd say it'll be okay. <laughs> Even just with our clothes? Yeah, we've got. Fleecy. <laughs> yeah, we have one fleecy and one thermal jacket, but I don't know how many hours it would take to get up there. If you're, if you're walking leisurely or leisurely, do you think it'll take at least two hours to Flowers, get up there? Yeah. So yeah, we thought we were just making a loop, but it's very tempting to go up. Obviously not today, but it's just another idea if any of you guys want to go up like that. So now that we're here in between the valleys, <laughs> I feel so small. I'm not sure if I'm catching this enough on the camera, but it's so high, the hills between us. Very, very beautiful. I was expecting to see some sheep or goat, but nevertheless, I wouldn't be surprised if um, other people would like to go up this path as well. I think you just make your own path, provided it's safe. I don't know if uh, people would wall climb this, but um, very, very nice. Rock climbing. Very nice. Oh yeah, not wall climb. I think wall climb is in <laughs> Yeah, if they would go rock climbing here. I was just wondering if um, if it would be a nice place to go camping here because yeah, this is uh, flat, flat enough and then uh, you wake up to this view. 
but um, if you are a tourist walking here, then you see tents. It might not be the best ambiance. We love good ambiance. <laughs> what again? We love good 